Hi, in this video we're going to talk about search engine optimization using the GoDaddy website builder. So when we look at GoDaddy website builders, we have the little thing here called search engine optimization. So what exactly is that? It's making sure that your website appears on Google on the first few pages and that it has the information you want on there. So if we look at Google and we were to type in um, save a village, this is what would show up. Um, there's some advertisements, there's some information, save a village thing there. Um, some more information like that. Let's just type in save a village. So we have this information here that has a description of the website and has the name and the domain name as well. So this is number one on Google at the moment for typing save a village, which makes sense. It's in the same title. But if we were to type in <coughs> something like um, I don't know, Red Cross, there we go. Red Cross has some information here, has the name, actually has a nice little search engine bar as well, has a description, has some information like the links. It just looks um, professional and it shows up as number one on Google and has lots of similar links. So that's what search engine optimization is doing, is it's making sure that it shows up in the search engines such as Bing or Google, Yahoo, and so on. And it has the information like that. For this specific website builder using GoDaddy, they do it for you if you purchase this option. A lot of um, website builders do that for you. However, with the smaller packages, I have purchased them before, and I'm going to show you what they do instead, because they don't do it for you. They expect you to be able to do it for yourself, because that's why you're paying a little bit more. So if you were to purchase this one or this one, it's going to give you something that looks like this. And you go to site settings. And then there's a little tab here that says search engines. And what they have is some information where you can enter a title for the page a description, and it lists the pages that you already have on the website. So what do we put in here? Um, to make sure that it shows up on Google. So it's quite limited because it doesn't give you a lot of flexibility for how to tell you what to do or keywords or something like that because they really want you to get a higher package. So what we can do is we'll do the best with the tools that we've been given here. So we have the title, you're gonna want that name that the same as your page and then the information you're gonna to want to put here. First of all, it should be related to the information on your page and what search engine optimization does is it looks for keywords that people type in on the search engine. Like I type in save a village, it uses those words. And then using those words, it compiles, looks for the word save, it looks for villages, and it creates this information for you. Um, Google does that. It kind of arranges the information in such a way that people can understand. They know what they're reading. They know what to look for. So how do you know which words are going to be searched up on Google? The easiest way to do it is first of all look through your website and figure out what words are important. But secondly go to AdWords. So let's go to if you were to go into Google and you typed in AdWords and you click on Google AdWords, you're going to get something like this. Now, I've already done this before, so it's already got a lot of the information. But the idea is that you have to go into Google and set up your website so that Google can search it. And the key thing that it's doing is it's, there's a tab here that says Keywords. This is under Google AdWords. And if you click on keywords, it'll tell you that are words that it recommends that people search. So according to this, 9,900 people have searched non-governmental organizations. Um, I don't know what the time horizon is, but these are words that'll help trigger and uh, the search. So you're gonna wanna put words like non-governmental, work in Kenya, visit Kenya, life in Kenya, etc., into the um, into here. You're going to want to put those words in here. Make sure you have the words non-governmental, um, Kenya, 
um, tourist, and, and so on. You're going to want to ha make sure you have those words available. So once you've done that and you've um, made sure you found those words and you inserted them in, Google can then do its work and it can make sure that when you type in the name of your website that this sort of thing appears and it has the name of the text and it knows which word to look for. It's going to be able to use those words and combine them and do whatever Google does in the background to make sure that it can index all the websites together and that's the search engine optimization. So you don't have to pay for the the search engine optimization to get it necessarily. As long as you make sure you fiddle around with the keywords with the website builder and your website can still appear on Google. So I hope that was helpful for people who are curious about how to use search engine optimization using the GoDaddy website builder. Until next time.